Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome to another drink review. Today guys, we're doing another beer review. At least I am. We are doing the new Hop Project IPA box or IPA variety pack from Tin Barrel Brewing. And I'm decked out in all my Tin Barrel gear. I've got Tin Barrel banners up, so it's a Tin Barrel video. So if you guys like IPAs and you're eager to try the all new Tin Barrel IPA variety box, guys, this is for you. We've got some new flavors here that you can't get anywhere else except in this box. So buckle up, grab your glass, and join me as we try Tin Barrel's brand new variety pack. Variety pack. Let's go. Alright guys, so like I said, we are getting ready to dive into the brand new Hop Project IPA variety box from Tim Braille. Now what's really cool about these variety packs is you can only get these drinks in the variety packs. They're not sold in six packs or anywhere else unless you go to Tin Barrel's uh, brewery or any of their pubs. Um, then you can get this stuff probably on tap or in a special made uh, or special bottles at the actual brewery. So you can get these only, like I said, only in these variety variety packs here. So uh, real quick guys, we're going to go over the box that these come in now, it's all new. As you can see, it now comes in a red color instead of the green, which is what the old one was in. And uh, now it's very clear to see that this is the new one because it's bright red and it really sticks out on the shelf. So uh, a lot of people don't really go over the box, I feel like, because once you get home, what do you do? You just pop open the box, put the beer in your fridge or put the whole thing in your fridge and no one actually looks at the package itself for very long. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and look at it real quick. On the bottom here, they got some cool stuff. A little bit about Tin Barrel Brewing, which we're gonna go over right now. I'm just gonna read this to you, to you guys real quick so you can get a little taste of who and where Tin Barrel came from. Uh, it says, we started back in 2006 with three guys in Bend, Oregon, who shared one simple mindset, brew beer, drink beer, and have fun doing it. Since then, our brewery has grown, but we will always stay the same. Rough morning. Rough morning? Grab a beer. Powder day? The gone skiing sign goes up. Too hot to work? Mandatory company float? You get the picture. Here's a live it. Here's to living it up with a beer in hand. Cheers. Check out our pubs in Bend, Boise, Idaho, Portland, Oregon, Denver, Colorado, and San Diego, California. Go ahead, go check them out at 10 Barrel Brewing on Instagram and over there on Twitter and Facebook and follow these guys. They have some really cool pictures and they put up a lot of really cool videos. So I suggest you go, uh, I suggest you guys go follow them on their uh, social media accounts. All right, so the first beer that we're gonna go over today is gonna to be called Smack the Lip. This is a new one that I have never seen. Um, I actually have never even heard of Smack the Lip. So I'm really eager to try this particular beer. So this is the one we're gonna try first right here. And the little uh, thing that says here on Smack the Lip, which actually go ahead and let's roll that clip right now so you can get a close up look at the box. This is Smack the Lip IPA. One of the best feelings in surfing is when you come up out of the wave and smack the lip. Our resident surfing brewer, Benny, recreated this sensation in a beer. Nuances of hop fruitiness rises to the top, eventually culminating in a smack of bright citrus on your senses. This IPA comes in at 7.2% alcohol per volume. Here we go, we're, we're about to dive right in here on Smack the Lip IPA from Tin Barrel and the all new Hot Project IPA pack. This one is a, this is a surfing style of uh, flavor profile, I guess you can say. 7.2% alcohol, it's 65 IBUs. It was uh, brewed by Benny, who's their uh, resident surfer at Tin Barrel. So good props to Benny. As it says, nuances of fruitiness rise at the top eventually culminating in a smack of bright citrus to your senses. So let's see if we can taste any of that. So here we go, smack the lip IPA. Ooh, I can get some of that citrus right away. 
real fruity flavor smell going on there. Here we go, smack the lip IPA. Real nice dark uh, yellow color going on there, nice little head on it. So there it is, smack the lip IPA. Let's give it a try. I do get that nice fruity, uh, hoppy taste right away. And then it's, it, exactly like it says, you get that nice citrus aftertaste um, right off the bat. So it's actually a very smooth IPA uh, for being 65 IBUs as well. But all in all, guys, this is not a bad IPA um, at all. It's Like I said, it's, it's smooth. You get a real strong hoppy flavor, though. Um, but it's really fruity, so that it kind of mellows out how strong the hops and that flavor is in this beer. And then once again, to get a nice citrus aftertaste going on. So that is Smack the Lip IPA out of the new Hop Project variety pack. Mm, I'm starting to like IPAs a whole lot more now. All right, guys, the next one on the list is another one that I'm kind of excited about. We're gonna go over Cran Hop IPA. So, it's time to dive in to the all new Cran Hop IPA. This is Cran Hop, what's in the cloud? In this beer's case, it's Huel Melon Crystal Halorato Blanc Hops, along with nice tart white cranberries. It's fruity tart, hoppy and cloudy as fuck. Enjoy, this is going to go fast. Coming in at 6.7% alcohol and 52 IBUs. This is going to go fast, enjoy. All right guys, it is time to try Cran Hop IPA. Now uh, this one sounds like it's gonna be, have a whole lot of different kind of flavors going on in it. Uh, the little information we get on the box like you guys just probably saw and heard it it's uh what's in the cloud it's in the case in this beer's case it's huel melon crystal holler holler towel blanc hops along with a along with nice tart white cranberries it's fruity tart hoppy and cloudy as fuck enjoy this is going to go fast so Guys, it sounds like it's gonna be freaking delicious, so I'm really excited to uh, open this one up. So let's go ahead and open it up. The new Cran Hop IPA, exclusive to the Hop Project variety pack. So here we go. I'm getting some uh, cranberry senses going on in here. Here we go for some color. Oh, look at that. That is a milky yellow color. Look at this. It's a nice, very uh, milky looking thick IPA. So, uh, all right, I'm excited to try this, everybody. And it just smells so good. All right. Oh, wow. Man. Okay, you get that nice tart cranberry flavor right off the bat. Like right off the bat, you know how you get those cranberries, cranberry sauce, you get kind of a tart cranberry taste? Dude, you get that right away with this. Man, 52 IBUs, so it's very smooth um, as far as the IBU, IBUs are concerned, and then 6.7% alcohol. Uh, man, this is delicious. It's very tart. Um, you, get, you still get a nice uh, hoppy flavor in there, but uh, that tart cranberry really brings this drink, this beer, to life. Uh, I'm not sure what, this other, what these other ingredients are. Uh, Puel melon, a crystal, and uh, I can't even say half of the stuff. But uh, what, if that melon, I can, if that's any type of melon I've ever had, you can taste these different things in this. Um, I've never had any whatever whatever it is they're talking about here. I believe it's from like, I believe it's Hawaiian or something like that. I'm not sure, but guys, this is really, really good. It's probably my favorite one so far out of the, uh, the new Hot Project box. Now remember, it's exclusive only to the Hot Project variety pack. So 
This is definitely going to be a very popular one, and I can see why it's got tons of flavor and it's different. You don't see any uh, cranberry, really, any cranberry flavors out there. And now we have one right here, and it's an IPA. And it's for being an IPA, it's pretty smooth. And that color is really nice as well. I really like that. All right. Well, I hope these other two are just as good as that one because I'm pretty excited right now. So here we go. The next one on the list is going to be Young Squeezy. This has a little story behind it. So let's get This is Young Squeezy. Some may call the New England IPA a trend. Some call it a style. We call it wicked good. With a soft malt profile, low IBU, and a huge tropical hop profile, it drinks just like fruit juice. This is coming in at 6.2% alcohol per volume and 50 IBUs. Well, okay, here we go with the all new Young Squeezy. Guys, Young Squeezy was actually, um, when it first came out, it was called Lil Squeezy. But they found out they could not use the name Lil Squeezy because apparently it was used by somebody else. And so that name was already taken. So they had to change um, the name to Young Squeezy which was kind of a issue because we had packaging out there with Young Squeezy all over it. So we had to recall all of that and all the kegs and all the banners and redo everything to Young Squeezy instead of Lil Squeezy. So here we go with Young Squeezy. This is 6.2% alcohol, 50 IBUs, so it's gonna be, uh, excuse me, pretty smooth already. Some may call the New England IPA a trend. Some call it a style. We call it wicked good. With a soft malt profile, low IBU, and a huge tropical hop profile, it drinks just like fruit juice. So, let's see just how smooth Young Squeezy is. Now, I do remember trying this on tap before, so I have had this, but it's been uh, quite a while. Right there, a nice bright yellow color to that and it's a little bit clear not as clear well actually no it is more clear than the cran hop was but uh right there you can see it very bright yellow color all right here we go the all new young squeezy Woo! boy that's got a lot more hop flavor than the uh cran hop does and that was at 52 this one's at 50 but it is, it is actually pretty fruity, um, fruity hops afterwards. So I, I do get that fruity taste um, towards the end of drinking this. But right off the bat, you get the little kick of the hops, that strong hop IPA flavor, and then it really mellows out into a nice fruit finish, or fruity finish. It really doesn't specify what fruits are in this, but you can use your imagination when you drink this and really get that nice sweet, aftertaste with a nice brute fruit. Well, that's the next one we're going to do. This has a nice uh, blunt first first take in your mouth and real bam, I'm an IPA. Oh, by the way, I'm fruity too. But it is pretty damn good. So that was Young Squeezy. Oh, yes. Young Squeezy. I almost thought I said a little. Young Squeezy IPA from Tim Brown Brewing, exclusive only to the Hot Project box. All right, here we go. The final drink in the variety pack. It's Brute Almighty. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Here we go. Brute Almighty. This 8% 54 IBU IPA. And we took this beer to zero, so no residual sugar was left, thus creating a light, dry beer. We then dry hopped it with beautiful Idaho grown Eldorado and Idaho hops and Centennial hops, which import a nice tropical and citrus taste and aroma, refreshingly hoppy without being bitter. So there you have it. It is Brute Almighty. Yummy! From Ten Barrel. It's the Brute Almighty IPA, and what does this say? It is an 8%, so it's definitely the highest percentage alcohol out of the four for, uh, different varieties in here. So 8%, 50, 
54 IBUs, and it says on under its on its little card here, we took this beer to zero. So no residual sugar was left, thus creating a light, dry beer. We then dry hopped it with beautiful Idaho grown El Dorado and Idaho 7 hops. The Centennial hops which impart a nice tropical and citrus taste and aroma. Refreshingly, refreshingly hobby without being bitter. Now that sounds like it's going to be hell of a good IPA. So, here it is guys, Brute Almighty IPA, the last of the four in the IPA variety pack and Tim Barrel Hot Project. Here we go. I'm excited. I'm excited. Right off the bat, I'm smelling a nice smooth aroma. Go ahead and sniff it for you. Sniff it. I feel like I should be watching Bruce Almighty right now while I do this review. All right, here we go. Look at that. That is a very clear drink right here. See how nice and uh, it's very clear, very clean looking IPA for Brute Almighty. All right. Yeah, it's a very subtle, subtle smell. And uh, so according to this, it's supposed to be a nice dry, light beer um, at 54 IBUs for an IPA. So here we go, guys. The last one, Brute Almighty IPA. Get that citrus smell going. All right, so I'm starting to get some room in there. All right, here we go, Brute Almighty. Oh my goodness! This is a winner. This is a very, it does have a dry aftertaste, all right? But it's light, but you still get a nice hoppy, hoppy, uh, hoppy taste, hoppy flavor, but it's, it's light, like it tastes light. Like if Bud Light, had a stronger hot flavor to it, I feel like this would be it. But let me taste it. I gotta taste it again. All right, screw Bud Light. This is more, I don't even know why I said that. Just the way it, it feels when you drink it, it's very light. So like a Bud Light or like, you know, whatever light beer you want, as long as it isn't Coors Light. Um, but it's very citrusy. So you get a, a real good citrus taste when you first drink it, almost like you get those, uh, orange peels or lemon peels right away. Uh, lemon, not orange. Um, but it's complemented with the hops and then it's a very dry aftertaste. So you get a nice light hoppy. It's kind of an oxymoron when you, when I say it, when it's a hoppy, but it's light at the same time. Uh, but it's extremely good. I mean, wow, I might have to drink some more of this. And you see the color in this is really, really clear. Um, and it looks light. You, see, you can just see how light this, this beer looks. So, great job on this one, Tin Barrel, for... Excuse the bug. Props to Tin Barrel for creating a light IPA. I don't think I've ever seen that before, or tasted it for that matter. This is probably gonna be my new favorite IPA right here. Brute Almighty. Um, if I'm gonna give all these, each one, a rating. So we're gonna start off with the Smack the Lip IPA. I'm gonna go with about a five. Um, five out of 10. Be just because it tastes like almost any other IPA in my opinion. It's a very strong IPA, um, but it's not bad at all. But I'm gonna give it a five. It's kind of right there in the middle. It's not doesn't really stand out in my opinion. Uh, the Cran Hop. Now this one is one of my, it's probably my second favorite one out of this IPA box. And as far as IPAs go, this is probably in my top three favorite IPAs. And this one I'm gonna go with like a seven. I'm gonna give this a seven as far as IPAs goes. Very unique flavor. You know what, I'm gonna go up to an eight. Just because it's very unique. You don't see cranberry used in, in uh, IPAs very much. So this is definitely one that stands out the most, the Cran Hop IPA. Then we have 
the Young Squeezy. This one has been around for a little bit. Like I said, it used to be a little squeezy. Now it is Young Squeezy, and uh, it's a very good, delicious IPA. So I'm gonna give this one about a six out of 10. Now this one here, the Brute Almighty, this one is brand new also, and this is gonna get a seven out of 10. So out of all of them, the Cran Hop is going to get the highest rating. It's different and it's delicious and it's new. And uh, I really, really am impressed with the Cran Hop. And the Bruce Almighty, I'm also very, very impressed with. Um, it's just, it's light. You know what, I'm gonna bump this up to an eight. It's light, it's a light IPA. Like how does that even happen? How does that work? But they did it with this and it tastes just like it says. It's a light, dry, citrusy IPA. So props to Tin Barrel, good job on the Brute Almighty. Um, this one and the Cran Hop are definitely my top two out of it. And then I'm gonna have to go with the Young Squeezy and then Smack Lip is probably gonna be the last one out of this whole pack. Now, if you're into the real strong IPAs, Smack Lip is probably for you. This is a very strong um, IPA. So, if you're gonna get this pack, just know Smack Lip is going to be the most hoppiest, strongest out of all of them. And then you're probably gonna go with Young Squeezy would be the next one in line then Cran Hop, and then this one here being the lightest. So if you take this, if you go out and buy this Hop Project box to, uh, for a party or something, and you have friends who are like, oh, I'm not too much into IPAs. Well, they'll be like, hey, we got Brood Almighty. It's a light IPA. And they're gonna be like, what? A light IPA? And then boom, you get them in the IPAs, just like that. It's just so sweet, light and and I, man, I like it. So yeah, that's it for Tim Burrell's brand new Hot Project IPA Variety Pack. Go pick it up, it is in your stores right now. And if you see on the shelf that these have, this has a green label on it, please buy it and get rid of it so we can put this new stuff on the shelf and get this out for you guys to try. Because guys, this is a unique box. This is a unique set of beers that they put in it. And it's only, it's, these beers are exclusive to this uh, 12 pack variety pack. So thank you all for watching so much. Make sure you subscribe, leave a thumbs up on the video. Let me know if you guys have tried this box yet. Let me know if you're going to. Let me know which one out of the four is your favorite. Remember, we got Smack the Lip, Cran Hop, Young Squeezy, and Brute Almighty. All IPAs, all brand new, all exclusive from Tim Burrow right here in the Hot Project box. Thank you guys for watching so much. And Tim Burrell, if you're watching, I got you, bro. Hook me up. I want to do videos for you guys. And I'm starting off doing it myself. So let's go. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Ah, oh, yummy.